by land, by air. Troops have been arriving in large numbers to reinforce the Dominican Republic's border since the country closed it to Haiti. These neighbours who share an island have always had a tense relationship, but now the Dominican Republic has taken it to the next level. It's because of this, a canal that Haitian farmers are digging into the Massacre River, which the two countries share. They say they need it to irrigate their drought-hit lands. The project's become a source of local pride. It's a wonderful initiative. I'm here as a stone worker. The situation of our country is critical, so we have to put our hands to work to get the canal done so that our country has food. But the Dominican president isn't happy. He says it diverts the river from Dominican lands and that he won't open the border till they stop digging. With the standoff, many Haitian migrants in the Dominican Republic say they're facing hostilities. Many are going back home. This is the queue at the Dahabon border crossing where Dominican officials are allowing them to cross back into Haiti. Romana Charlie told us that Dominican police and immigration officers kicked her and her four children out of her living space in the middle of the night three times this week. They grabbed us while we were sleeping and threw us out with our clothes and everything. If they had done it professionally, no problem. But they hit us and threw around the boys. She's leaving after, she says, more than 20 years in the Dominican Republic. Meanwhile, trade between the countries has also stopped. That's a big problem for Haiti. More than half the country is in danger of starvation. A quarter of its imports come from the Dominican Republic. It needs the border open. And this won't just hurt Haiti. The Dominican Republic depends on trade with its neighbour too. Last year it sent a billion dollars worth of exports across the border. Usually this area would be bustling with Haitians coming to buy. Now these shops are all shut. The Dominican government's promised to buy up any perishable goods its merchants can't sell. But this standoff doesn't look to end anytime soon, especially since the Haitian farmers continue to dig. John Holman, Al Jazeera, Dahabon. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.